Well, what a thrill it is to be here tonight as we celebrate not only one of the greatest players in Yankee history, but one of the greatest players in the history of the game. I dare someone to find any player in any sport who personified a Hall of Famer more than Derek Jeter. Please welcome back to Yankee Stadium. Number two, Derek Jeter. You know, I was, I was thinking, you know, what do you say on a night like this that you all haven't already heard? <laughs> and there's probably nothing. But I, but I think one thing you can't do enough of is thank people, be gracious, and be appreciative. But right here in front of you, with you, is where I really feel like I'm at home. I truly do look forward to hopefully seeing a lot more of you here in the near future. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. And Frankie is a Yankee, towing the slab in the boogie down here tonight. It'll be his 26th start on the year. It's Randy Rosarena, 19 home runs, 74 runs batted in. And a liner up the left side. That ball's going to be in there. Here comes Franco in to score. A Rosarena headed to second with a double. The Rays not wasting any time jumping on the first pitch. Well, taking them out tonight for the Tampa Bay Rays is going to be right hander Drew Rasmussen. 3 2. And he got him. He strikes him out. They come in and they're legal and a swing and miss. Academic, as it turns out. Hicks is out on strikes. Three up, three down. Rays lead one nothing. Popped up. Connor Falefa makes the play. And Montas works into and out of trouble. And the Rays strand two. We go to the bottom of the second. Check swing and a bounder by the mound right there near the bag at second Lau on the shortstop side makes the pickup and throw hitting an error no runs we go to the third one nothing Rays swing and a miss got him on the splitter Lau down on strikes two way fly ball center field Judge is there and he'll take it for the final out. No runs to hit, no errors, and one man left on base. Two and a half of the books, one nothing Rays. And he gets him on strikes. It's a big strikeout after the leadoff single. Swing and miss, and Torres is out of there. Lever Torres out on strikes. They are restless when it comes to well this not only this team but Aaron Hicks in particular and he's out on strikes we'll hear him again. Yep. listen those aren't a smattering anymore. Two men left we go to the fourth one nothing Rays. Wonder Franco up there who doubled and scored in the first. This one down the left side toward the corner is it going to be fair. It is a fair ball. Hicks doesn't know it's a fair ball and that allows the second runner to score. So a two run double for Franco and it's three nothing. Hicks did not realize the ball fell fair. And the Rays get a couple runs out of that and it's a three to nothing game. And that's a shot into left field. Hicks will have to go back. That's over his head. Going to bound to the wall. Here comes Franco in the score. Rosarena pulls up at second. And the Rays tack on another run. It's four to nothing. And the boos are raining down on the Yankee left fielder. Well, two things are going to be going on here. Hicks got hurt in the outfield. Or the guy on the right drinking the water didn't like what he saw out of Hicks in the outfield. Hicks out of the game. One, two. And he is out on strikes. One, two, three. Go the Yankees in the fourth, and the Rays hold a 4 0 lead. 2 2. Swing and a miss. 2 1. 1 2. Swing and a miss. Got him. So Margot is stranded at third. We're halfway through. It's 4 0 Tampa Bay. So they knew they could. They did they could ram that through if they wanted to and they did. And that is strike three. 
Well, Gonzalez tried to sell that he had checked, and on the appeal down to third, Nick Marley says he is out on strikes. And a swing and miss to retire the side. So a man left, and we are through five. Raise up for nothing. Swing and a miss on the sinker. One away. And that either hit him or catcher's interference. I think it hit him. The whisper of the uniform going by. Aaron Boone comes out and takes the ball from Montas. Grounded up the middle. That just misses the bag. Torres fires the first. And Litke does the job. No runs a hit and two men left on base. We go to the bottom of the six, four nothing Tampa Bay. He has been going with that cutter and it has been devastating. Late break, he's gotten some good depth with it tonight, throwing it 89, 90 miles an hour. And he gets a foul tip strikeout right there. I mean, three in a row to close out Floreal. I mean, three in a row. And a swing and miss. And Duhar is out on strikes for the first time tonight. And 10 strikeouts, a career high for Rasmussen. And the Yankees got a call upon Giancarlo Stanton. The boom to pinch hit Stanton. Ground ball by the mound. And right there is Paredes for the pickup. And the throw to first will retire the side. No runs, two hits, two left. We go to the seventh, four nothing Rays. Ground ball third, nice stop there. Yandy goes to first and the stretch by Choi. Out there and up to second base goes Peraza. Nicely done. Yandy stretching out toward the line there. And then Choi on the other side stretching out toward right field. But how about Yandy Diaz making the so runner at second now with two outs and here's Aaron Judge against Jalen Beeks. Line drive left field it's a base hit. Rounding third is Peraza. Here's the throw. Here's the play. He's out. Looks like a whiff and the play is going to be under review. After review the call is overturned the runner is safe. Yankees retain their challenge. Most importantly, they get themselves a run. So here's Kyle Higashioka. Deep to left. See ya. A home run for Higashioka, and it's 4 2 Rays. For Higashioka, his eighth home run. Still only one out to get, but the tying runner to the plate in Gleyber Torres. The pitch swung on, fly ball into right, going back to the track. Margot's got it, and that will end it. The Rays win this one. It's a 4-2 final. Pat and Chase is presented by Roman, the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.